Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed today. Where is that turbo? Um, I have a very strange sound. Well, not that strange when you know where it's coming from. Um, coming from the turbo on this 2 liter diesel 16 valve 140 horsepower BKP engine code. And uh, I have my girlfriend in the car, she'll start it up and you'll hear the sound. And if I put your hand on the warm side of the turbo, you can definitely feel it as well. So go and start it up now. I think the asthma on this turbo is confirmed, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm underneath the car, I took the tray off. I'll I, I took that clamp off on the hot side, and there is a bolt here that I got undone as well. So I'll pull the catalytic converter or DPF or whatever it is, a little bit to the left and I'll feel for the play on the turbo. The car is on 500,000 kilometers, so maybe just time for the new one to go in. Okay, so I removed the, I actually removed this side and I felt the turbo and it feels okay. At least with the two fingers I can grab it. And on this side I removed this, this what you can see there. Yeah, this pipe is the inlet, that's the outlet of the coal. So that's, that's the pressurized part. I removed it, I started up the car and it was not sounding that bad at all. So now, with this side on, because under pressure is different, but here it's very strange that we have that sound. And I didn't have no calls, but I have a loss of power. So it could have been that this thing here is blocked or something like that. I'm not sure, but we'll still try it out. So start it up now and two, three times, you know, the procedure. Okay, I just remove it like that. Try again now. Well, I don't know. I can hear it now, definitely. Okay, so after that sound from yesterday, I want to show you and tell you what I did. I removed the backside where the catalytic converter is and I removed the inlet manifold, which goes from, you can see, after the uh, flow meter sensor, there was a pipe that goes underneath to the inlet of the turbine. I removed it. I also removed the actuator. I was thinking it's seized, but it's not seized. The, the geometry on the turbine is seized. So I have here a cleaning oven cleaner for, uh, for ovens and um, that's basically a uh, I think it's all the caustic. I think it's in Polish. Is it in Polish? I don't know if you if you know what language it oh it's in Czech. No I man, most of them is uh like here it says here it says what is the What is containing soda caustic? That's what you're cleaning ovens with. So, 
what I'm gonna do, I'll just spray it inside the turbine on the hot part and try to free up the geometry. Let's get underneath the car and start it raining as well. Should I be telling you to use eyeglasses, protective gear when you spraying that and you are underneath the car or you smart enough to know? Huh? I think you're smart enough to know, but I almost forgot about them. So remove this thing to one side, and we can see the turbine. It's not in such a bad shape. I was thinking it's gonna be bad, or you know, but it isn't. And on this side as well. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see but it doesn't look that bad. But the here on the side is the thingy and it's completely this thing. It's completely seized up. It doesn't move at all. So try to <clears throat> spray now. I can't show you because it's a bit tricky to see. Or can you actually see? Maybe you can see. I'll spray it without you seeing. I got myself some oven cleaner from Lido as well and I changed the nozzle. But you can see here it makes a lot more foam and uh, <coughs> it's gonna be easier to spray in. No. Let's see if you can see. Started moving a little bit just a few seconds ago. Ah, there we go. But it's still very stiff. So spray a bit more. It should feel, it should move really. Yeah. All the way down. Is with the veins I think open. I'm not sure though. Still I will spray as much uh, as much as I can uh, oven cleaner inside. I moved it a little bit here and there but I can't really I'll try to I think you can see how I spring in. Yeah, there we go. And I'm sure now. Touch that. There we go. So I made this piece of metal that you can see here. Can you see how it's twisted here? Now I can get it with my hand and just feed it on the back. Unfortunately, you can't see. Let me find 
in the actuator lever for the geometry. It's just a feeling game. You can't you can't see anything really. So there is a nine millimeter opening on the bottom. I can go in. There you go. So the piece of metal can go in and you can do this. Yeah. And so on. With this up and down, up and down, up and down. It's going to free up. So now for the next 20 minutes, it's going to be up and down, up and down. And I might start, start the car as well. Just warm it up a little bit. And after a little bit of persuasion, you can see, you can see it's moving now. Definitely not the best move. I think there is a slight leak as well here, but it should be okay. I can't see any cracks in the turbo. Can't see anything like that. You see that's gonna fix the issue now what I'm gonna do I'll just put everything like everything back together like it was the actuator is holding itself by two screws here and there I'll just plug it back in there it is vacuum line I'll plug the pipe here and I'll see again if there is that sound okay so assembled everything and the car is running Unfortunately, there is still that sound. If you stop the AC on. Can you hear it? It isn't that obvious, but definitely something going on. That's maybe a gapping in between the axle and the um, case of the turbo. Well, unfortunately, the the cleanup of the geometry didn't didn't uh, fix the problem. What should I do now? Well, I think I'll make a video on how to change the turbo on a 2 liter Passat. Hope the video has been helpful to you. It's a bit on a fail side, but... Sometimes you need to try. That's it, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Two minutes later, after I... Uh went to drive around the neighborhood yes still a little bit yeah maybe a little bit i'm not sure yeah it's on its way out now it's a good time to look for a new one it definitely drives okay, it drives fine. I think it's a good moment to start looking for a new turbo though. Okay, so two minutes later after the... I warm it up, drive it around the neighborhood. Listen. It's very subtle, you can't really hear it.
<coughs> it's perfectly drivable. I drove it around the neighborhood. Feels okay. But I think it's a good time to uh, look for a new turbo. Um, that's it. I'll keep you updated. I'll put a link to a new video if I'm changing the turbo or anything like that. Hope the video has been helpful and I'll see you on the next one. This time for last. Bye bye.